Hello, my name is Kate Good, and I'm coming to you today from the court showroom where we're filming Sofa Secrets. Sofa Secrets are all about quick bites of information to help you be successful in your job. Today, I want to share with you a sales secret. You know, when we're showing apartments, people say a lot of things to us. Sometimes they comment on something, sometimes they object to something, sometimes they get really excited about something. But we really want to listen for what is going to help us lease the apartment. So I'm going to give you some tips on what to listen for. Number one, listen for those needs. What does somebody need to have in their home? You know why you want to listen to needs? It's because needs are sale makers. If you find those needs for that customer, if you can find the apartment that fills those needs, you're going to get the lease. Needs are sale makers. The next thing you're going to listen for are wants. Wants are important but they're not necessarily the one that is going to get you the lease. They might be something that is a factor in deciding between one community and another, but it's not necessarily the most important thing. So that need must be satisfied. That want needs to be addressed, but don't get upset if you can't take care of all the wants. And then the third thing is a wish. Now, wishes are great. We all have a lot of wishes in our lives right? I wish I could get a better parking space when I'm at Target. I wish I could afford this handbag. But it doesn't mean that you need to have it. It doesn't even mean that you want to have it. You just wish it would happen for you. Wishes are of least importance, but sometimes we get caught up in that and we're simply wasting time in the sales presentation. So to recap, listen for the need and make sure you address that need. If you satisfy that need, you're going to get the lease. Next up, listen for those wish or wants, and those wants, if you can satisfy them, you are going to differentiate, differentiate yourself from one apartment community versus another. And then wishes, don't get so bogged down with them because we really can satisfy every wish that somebody has in an apartment. So let me test your knowledge for just a moment. Um, I'm looking for an apartment, and I am your customer, and I say, I need a washer and dryer. Now, take away the word the fact that I use the word need. And just think about the fact that me as the customer said, washer and dryer. And um, let's say you, your apartment does have washers and dryers. You're in good shape. You can check that off the list. Let's say that your apartment does not have a washer and dryer. What are you gonna do? Well, don't fret. I want you to really think about what you know about this customer. Would a washer and dryer be a need, a want, or a wish? Some of you might be saying right off the bat, oh, it's a need. Well, in your world, it might be. In the world of a single mom with two kids under the age of four, a washer and dryer in the home is definitely a need. But for somebody who travels a lot, uh, they're only in town a couple days a week, they send a lot of their things to the dry cleaner, it could be a want or a wish, not as important. So what is important to you may not be the need to the customer. So you want to get that background information about the customer so you can determine if it's a need, a want, or a wish. Ask questions carefully listen to, for the answers, and always make sure you satisfy those needs and wants. My name is Kate Good, and thank you for tuning in to Sofa Secrets today.